So Senator Dianne Feinstein from California has decided to do something curious. Uh, it could have positive consequences, could have negative consequences. Uh, let me explain it first, uh, we go to the Hill here. Senator Dianne Feinstein, uh, the top Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee on Tuesday, unilaterally released more than 300 pages documenting an interview the panel conducted in August with the founder of the opposition research firm that commissioned a controversial dossier on President Trump. First, let's note that the word dossier is fun. Uh, secondly, uh, let's note that that is strange. So that's the, the dossier with all these allegations against Trump, some of which have already proven to be true, like Carter Page from the Trump campaign going to uh, Russia and meeting with Russian officials. Uh, and then there's, of course, the famous uh, P tape allegations in that dossier. And we don't know if that's true or not. Uh, but Congress brought in the guy who commissioned it uh, through his firm uh, to talk. And that's supposed to be uh, private, but Feinstein decided that she was gonna release it. Hmm. All right, we'll, we'll play that out in a second. So uh, Taylor Fay, the spokesperson for Chuck Grassley was not happy about it. Obviously, Senator Grassley uh, is supposed to work, now he's a Republican, he's supposed to work with Feinstein who's a Democrat on this issue. But they actually, rare uh, for a Republican, but made a pretty good point saying Feinstein's unilateral decision uh, was made as the committee is still trying to secure testimony from other witnesses, including Jared Kushner. Her action undermines the integrity of the committee's oversight work and jeopardizes its ability to secure candid voluntary testimony relating to the independent recollections of future witnesses. So that's Taylor Foy apparently. Okay, so uh, let's break this down. Uh, first of all, if uh, there was something in there that uh, stops Trump from evading justice, and the fact that it is publicly known makes a difference, then um, great, uh, I think that that is positive. So far, I haven't seen that yet. It's largely things that we already knew, and I don't quite see how it helps Mueller's team or anything else. It does seem a bit like grandstanding, but now if it didn't do any damage, well, okay, God bless. And Trump's mad about it, so that's good. <laughs> so maybe he's upset about something that was released. Um, but that point about how they still haven't gotten Kushner's testimony, but now, now that Feinstein's revealing the testimony willy nilly, that's going to make Kushner's testimony far less likely than might have done damage. Uh, so it's a questionable move. Uh, so Joshua Levy, a lawyer for uh, Glenn Simpson, made another point. Glenn Simpson is the owner of uh, Fusion GPS, he, he runs it. And they're the ones that commissioned the Steele dossier. So when they were asked, hey, can you tell us what some of those sources were for the dossier? Because this is really important and we need to chase down if it's true or not true. Well, he said, somebody's already been killed as a result of the publication of this dossier. And no harm should come to anybody related to this honest work. Now, look, I don't know that I take him out his word on that. I do know that nine Russian diplomats were killed slash mysteriously died within about nine months of the US election. That is an awful lot of diplomats to mysteriously die in a very short period of time. Now, was it connected to the dossier? It's really hard to know without direct evidence, but it is a note of concern. Now, I, I point that out partly because Diane Feinstein has said throughout her career, "Oh my God, government secrets are awesome. Your secrets are terrible. I'm gonna have warrantless wiretapping on you. And she agreed with George W. Bush on that. Uh, but when it comes to national security, she would jealously guard anything coming out of the government. Now all of a sudden, not as interested, even on an issue that might have gotten people killed. So again, if I saw like the huge advantage releasing this uh, had, I would say, all right, great. You know, I'm not a big fan of Diane Feinstein, and everybody watching the show knows that. But I'd be like, well, okay, that's that's nice, that's good. At least that's good work, and maybe we pressured her into doing good work. But I'm not even convinced it is good work. I, I certainly don't see the the upside too much right now, and I do definitely see the downside. But anyway, I guess the few uh, things that you could say in favor of it is that Donald Trump's really mad about it, but he's really mad about everything. Anyway, here's his tweet. He writes, the fact that sneaky Dianne Feinstein, who has on numerous occasions stated that collusion between Trump, Russia has not been found, would release testimony in such an underhanded and possibly illegal way, totally without authorization, is a disgrace, must have tough primary. 
Okay, so as usual, that tweet is so stupid, we have to break it down into the different layers of stupid that he has in there. So uh, first of all, calls her sneaky Diane Feinstein, given that she released testimony, I guess I can see, but I'm a little worried about undertones there. Uh, I don't know if He's trying to get at something a little anti-Semitic, but you know, without the context of Trump having done it millions of times, I'd say nah, probably not. In the context of Trump, probably. Anyway, but that's the minor point because you're not really sure if that's what his intent was. Okay, let's go get on to the other points. He says that Feinstein has repeatedly said that there has been nothing proven on the Trump-Russia connections. Well, that's true on a couple of fronts. One, yeah, that's because Mueller hasn't concluded his investigation. But two, Feinstein really in the past has gone out of her way to say nothing has been found. So now she's got a tough primary and all of a sudden she's like, "Oh yeah, 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 the investigation, the one I've been poo-pooing, the one that I've been saying is no big deal. Big deal, big deal, I'm releasing documents. Huh? Funny how primaries have an effect. I was told by the establishment you shouldn't have progressive primaries. You shouldn't have primaries with it for the Democrats. Of course, because they just want to keep on doing whatever the establishment wants. Now a little fire under her and all of a sudden Feinstein's acting when she clearly didn't before. And that part Trump's slightly right about. But of course the main thing here is must have tough primary. Okay, let's break that down. <laughs> okay, well. She is very unlikely to be beaten by a Republican or Trump supporter. It's not only it's California, a deeply blue state, it, we have a runoff here. So top two vote getters from any party wind up in the final uh, election, in the general election. So that means it could be two Republicans or two Democrats or a Democrat and a Republican. And so far it's been two Democrats because it's a deeply blue state. So somehow a Republican is going to get into that runoff. It doesn't make any sense because Trump doesn't know. He doesn't know anything. You think he knows about the electoral system of California? <laughs> you think he bothered to ask anyone before sending out the tweet? Hey, how, do, how does the Senate election in California run? Of course not. And then what do you want? You want a tough progressive primary opponent, the only person who could beat Dianne Feinstein? Number one. Be careful what you wish for, because anyone in Feinstein's role is going to be way more progressive and way harsher on Donald Trump. I think largely Feinstein's played patty cakes with him. So he has no idea what he's getting himself into. And number two, mission accomplished. There already is a primary against Dianne Feinstein. That's why she's acting out in the way that she is. Of course, their main challenger is Allison Hartson. And by the way, if you'd like to have a real tough progressive who's going to challenge Donald Trump day in, day out, uh, I got good websites for you, AllisonHarson.com, uh, and then you could donate and you could volunteer if you're in the state of California. Allison uh, is a was an activist to get money out of politics, organized over a thousand volunteers to get that done in California. She knows how to organize volunteers, so go go do that. And then uh, we called her today because uh, that's the primary opponent apparently Trump is looking for. Like I said, watch out, Donald. You have no idea. What you're getting yourself into. So she gave this quote. Hartson said about Feinstein, she already has a serious primary and clearly she knows it. This is the first time she's gotten bold in her 25 years in the Senate. It's a shame that it has taken a tough primary challenge to get her to stand up to Trump and his cronies. We shouldn't have to ask our representatives to represent us. Damn. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, the home of the revolution. If you'd like to get the full show, Come join us and become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.